Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't trust the stability of this wall. For something Not anymore. I don't know what to do, boss. I mean, we got nowhere to go. You need to talk to the landlord, I guess, about that. Is it possible for you to... Uh, we have nowhere to go, boss. Another room? Nowhere. Another room, maybe? Maybe, yeah. But we have nowhere else to go. Yeah, because that wall right there, I mean, you can see how it, uh, it came from the bottom. I'm going to go check the other side once they remove the truck. Okay, thank I'm you, sir. I'm sure this is a pier and bean house, right? I have no idea, boss. Right now, I kind of... Yeah, I understand. you got to let go through one. But you know what? Hey, nobody was hurt. Yeah. That's the main thing, dude. The thing is, I mean... Yeah, I mean... It's Our apartment. Apartment. Yeah. Hey, get with me in a little while. Thanks, guys, for coming. That box right there is a toolbox from the back of the truck. All my fence is gone. All my house is smashed. Thank you. Yeah, the, it's not... Because of that, it's not stable. Okay. You know I mean? Well, you need to talk to the landlord about that, boss. Yeah, I mean, even from the inside of the house, I can tell that the wall is already... Oh, yeah, you can see it. No, 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 it is, it is. Yeah, can y'all do me a favor and shine all that light on there, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. How about on this truck right here? Let's get this truck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Damn. El nopal, los chilitos, el árbol. the tire that was in my room came and threw in this truck they may as well take it not our trash still can't believe a tailbox slipped up on the house like that idiot Holy stuff, I didn't even see this sign.
this is now after I've uh, taken the tire out, which was sitting right there. And you can, I don't know if you can see, there's tire marks on the hula hoop. I can't believe this. Yep. Oh, that's a oh, yeah, that's a show bar. Move. No, while they're working, come here. Gabby, you stay right there. Stay right there where I can see you. Oh, really? It was right next to the light? No, no. Oh, yeah, if you can, that'd be great. Pictures. There's, there's the case number. Okay. You make what, that up, okay? Get a picture of him with it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. A family still in shock after a truck slammed into their house last night. But Stephanie Cerner reports, even though there was a lot of damage left behind, family members say they feel lucky to be alive. I was sitting in the front room and we just, I heard a crash. Hit what Dolores Solis heard was a truck slam into her house. It happened just before 10 o'clock last night. Police say a truck traveling southbound on Bynum Avenue changed lanes at an unsafe speed and then lost control. According to the police report, the truck went over the median, through two chain link fences, and then through the house. It was, it was pretty loud. I mean, it shook the entire house all the way to the living room. I saw the way this man was driving. He started from here, he hit the curb, ran into this fence, and came straight to the house over here. Dolores and her husband came out to see what happened, and when her husband spotted the driver, he kept him in the truck until police arrived. Still in shock of how close the truck came to injuring their eight-year-old daughter. A truck five tire flew through the window, and it landed in the middle of the floor of her, her bedroom, or our bedroom, because we have our bed in there also. So had she been in there, she could have either gotten struck by the tire or the, the glass. Laura says now they'll have to deal with the damage, but that they feel lucky that they weren't hurt. God was on my side yesterday because he pretty much saved us all. I mean, if it not had been for that tree or the fence or anything, I mean, we could have all gotten hurt. And police have identified the driver as 42-year-old Roberto Gutierrez. He was taken to the hospital and cited for no liability insurance and no operator's license. 
at police headquarters, Stephanie Stern on case at 12 News. Thanks, Stephanie. Some good news for Northside drivers, if they haven't already noticed. Construction crews finishing super...